from downtown San Diego, MLB Network has baseball from Petco Park in the Gas Lamp District. We celebrate Jackie Robinson Day with a great matchup between the L.A. Dodgers and the San Diego Padres. Alongside Dan Plezak and Mark DeRosa and Danny, as pitching matchups go, it doesn't get much better than what we've got here for this one. Well, Matt, these are two of the best in the business, two guys that throw a lot of strikes, and if their game is on, we should have a very low-scoring ball game with these two elite starting pitchers. Major League Baseball on MLB Network, coming up right after this. Blake Snell gets the start for San Diego in this one. Dan Plezak, what's the word on him? Hey, it's hard to have all four of your pitches on, but I think if this guy can have two or three of his four pitches and have command of them, he's going to have a really good game. Malik Smith, the next to hit. He'll get us started in this one under the lights. And here's a swing and a miss on the game's first pitch, and that's how we'll get started in the Tuesday opener. Guys, the swing and Friars as they take the field here tonight. They've been playing some pretty good baseball of late as they've won six of their last eight games. Yeah, Maddie, we had a saying in Texas, hit or get left behind. And that's exactly what this team did in their last game. Scored a bunch of runs, but good approach at the plate. Working the ball to all gaps. Line to line. This team swung the bats well. I'm going to be looking for that again in this one. Ah, and he took something off of it there. It's one and two. Good night for baseball all in all. Game time temperature 63 degrees. Swing and he pops him up. Wisdom into foul territory. And this is going to be a foul ball. To two balls and two strikes now. We just saw a fastball right there. I would not be shocked if he tries to get this guy to go fishing right here and drops a little off speed pitch in the dirt. And he lays off, so it's full now, three and two. And that one yanked just foul. And he'll finally just wear him down as this one swung on and missed for the first out. That swing tells me he was really trying to get a pitch out front and rip it down the line, but that wasn't a great pitch to do it on. It's really not the best two-strike approach either. And next will be Dansby Swanson digging in. As he will take strike one on the fastball here, no balls and a strike. He's ready for his first at bat of this early season contest. Here's a late swing and a miss, strike two. Into the corner and slicing foul. Another 0 2 home. Hit down the third baseline. And this gets past him at third as it hugs the line. A fair ball. Throw into second. The tag, and he is out at second. So the bases are empty here with two gone. And up next, one of the terrific talents in the game, Mookie Betts. And now the first pitch. As he'll take a look at a pitch too low, it's ball one. Top of the first just underway at Petco Park. A ball and a strike. Two and one now to Mookie. To two and two now.
into the windup and the pitch. Strike three called as he can't get the bat off his shoulders. Side retired. One, two, three go the Dodgers. Dodgers held scoreless early. Padres coming to bat. It's the battle for Southern California bragging rights, and it's on MLB Network. Shane Bieber gets the start for Los Angeles in this one. What's your take on him, Dan? Hey, Matty V, this ought to be a lot of fun. This guy won the Cy Young Award last year in the AL, so he knows how to pitch. And one of the things he does effectively, he attacks the strike zone. And if he does that, Here he should go. be fun what to watch in this one. Up next is That's Fernando shortstop. Tatis Jr. He'll lead things off here That's in the bottom it. half of the first. Junior. And this pitch is taken on the inner half for strike oh one. Man. Dan Dero, you check out this Dodger team as they enter play here tonight. They were losers last time out, but still in a decent groove as they'd won four or five prior to that. Yeah, Matty, in this sport at this level, you, you have to find a way to be a little bit realistic. You're not going to win every ball game. So they lost last game. Fine. Let's find a way to execute today and get on the winning side. Bieber has pitched north of 1,200 innings in the majors, and through those innings, he's worked to a whip under 1.20. League average is around 1.3, so that's a respectable number. Not a bad pitch there with two strikes, but it misses one and two. Right side hit hard. A dive, and he knocks it down. And not really much of a chance to recover there as he'll reach first on what undoubtedly will be that scored as an infield single. The second baseman, J.P. Crawford. And that'll bring in J.P. Crawford as the first pitch to him is in there for a called strike one. one using the slide step to try to control the running game yeah that's a good way of trying to control the running game Matt. the problem with it though it has a tendency to throw your command off because you're worrying about that runner on base one and two now working for the punch out and the offering now the fastball is right by him as he swings and misses for the first out of the inning Got him with a good high fastball there. Danny, we see a lot of that pitch in strikeout situations these days. What makes it so effective? I think, Matt, what makes it such a tough pitch is you're changing eye levels. That fastball up looks so enticing to hit that you think you see that ball as a hitter. You think you can drive it, but it's really hard to get on top of that good high hard fastball. Next to dig in will be Bryce Harper. As the first pitch misses to him, it's ball one. This is what fires me up right here. You don't get a chance to see this every day of the week. You got the reigning Cy Young Award winner squaring off against the reigning MVP. That's why you pay the price of admission. Here comes the 1-0. Nope. Clearly working the bottom of the zone, trying to get a ground ball for a double play. As a look, now the pitch. That's a strike. The throw down is there, and he's out trying to take second. Wow, that's a big time throw right there, and it's a tall task to throw him out stealing a bag, but he got rid of it quickly, and it was a good job down there applying the quick tag. They'll have to feel good about that one. Into the windup, here's the two and one pitch. Two and two. That's not a pitch he misses very often. He knows he should have done something with that one. And strike three called as he says, you got to be kidding me with the side retired. Nothing doing there for the Friars. Still no score. And that'll bring up the Sacramento product, Reese Hoskins. Previous history with Blake Snell. He's three for 15. Two of those hits were for home runs.
Infield in the overshift here. Now the pitch. The 1 0. Fooled with the curveball there, and it's strike two. Now you could tell right there that curveball had some serious depth to it. That's what separates the good ones from the bad ones. That nasty spin rate, get that downward action. You even get a star player like this swinging at something in the dirt. And he'll try to get him fishing there, but he won't offer in the dirt, and it's back to even at two and two. Little dribbler up the first baseline. And that misses, so it's a full count, three and two. Now the payoff pitch home. He is swung on and missed. He got him on strikes. My man on the mound has just got great strikeout stuff working for him these days. Looking back at his last start, he racked up nine K's, and now he's looking like he could put up similar numbers in this one. Here now is Will Smith. Yes, he'll take a tough pitch on the outside part of the plate for strike one. And he's looking to get it going off to a bit of a slow start this year. Into the windup, here comes the 0 and 1. And a check swing here as he couldn't help himself, and it's ruled strike two. Boy, so far early into this one, this guy's pitching really well. And I'm a big believer in body language. He's getting the ball. He's working really quick, keeping the ball down in the zone. And if you take a look at this guy so far early on, a lot of positive signs. He looks like he brought his good stuff in this one. Now another 0-2. Grounded straight into the shift on the left side. And that's the second out. Set to get his evening at the plate started. Edwin Rios tried to get it going at the plate. It's been tough sledding for him so far this year. First offering on its way. Now the 1 0. Here's a fastball not close as he runs it to two and one now. Now he spins on one here and drives it to deep right field. Harper has to retreat to the track but he has it to retire the side. Dodgers down in order. We'll go to the bottom of the second. No score. Bottom of the inning now, and that'll bring up the dynamic the bat of Juan Soto. The left fielder, Juan Soto. Here's the first pitch to him. Into his windup. Here comes the 1 0. A ball and a strike. Just behind the fastball there. Two strikes now. Go to that well one more time. He's been late on the first two. Struck him out. Boy, there's nothing better from a pitcher standpoint than watching that high fastball, a high piece of cheese swung at and missed. That pitch looks so inviting to hit, but it's awfully tough to put in play. And to hit will be Trent Grisham. 
as he will swing and miss on a fastball on the outer half. It's strike one. The wind up and the 0 1. Hit on the ground out to short. Swanson scoops it up and he'll reach first as they can't make the play on him. So frustrating, D Row. You make it. a good pitch and you get these no, guys that can run around and they're fast. You think you have an out and all of a sudden it turns into an infield single. Yeah, this is definitely part of his game, the ground attack, Dan. He's a speedster. He's going to get a ton of infield singles and he knows how frustrated that pitcher is. the first pitch as he'll take a look at a slider here that finds the zone for strike one Grisham base runner at first with one out runners off for second pitch is a cold strike the throw it bounces but he's out nice play there to pick the throw and put the tag on quickly they're showing they're not afraid to be aggressive on the base pass so far in this one. But we'll see if this caught stealing slows that down a bit. Managers never like to run into out, so they might play it a little safer going forward. The windup and the 0 2 pitch. A swing and a miss as he chased with two strikes, and that will retire the side. The love of the game runs deep with these folks. More baseball on MLB Network right after this. All set for the start of the inning, and in at the plate steps Keston Huron. Keston Huron. First pitch on the way. Now a swing, but not much behind it as this is lifted into shallow center. Crawford is under it, and that's the first out of the inning. Set to get his evening at the plate started. Donovan Casey trying to get it going at the plate. It's been tough sledding for him so far this year. Here's the first pitch. And he takes ball one. The offense better get it going right here because they certainly can tell from their dugout. This guy is carrying himself with a presence out on the mound. He's got feel for all his pitches. A ball and a strike now. And here's one that's taken for a ball. It's now two and one to the Dodger left fielder. You know he's probably cheating on that inside pitch after he got jammed earlier. If you're on the mound right now you want to try to hit that outside corner and there's a pretty good chance you'll get him to roll over something. Three and one to the Dodgers left fielder. And this is where he's especially dangerous because if you walk him he can steal a base on you but if you lay a fastball in there he can take you deep too. Count full three balls and two strikes. Third inning no score to this point. And another foul ball. Now a swing and a miss here as he's down on strikes. So it's two up, two down to begin the third. A lot of indecision there on that check swing, and that's something you see quite a lot on three and two. When the difference between striking out and drawing a walk in can be an inch or two, it's pretty understandable why guys aren't always aggressive with their swings. Shane Bieber is in with two away now as he looks at a called strike one. Hey, when you're featuring a mid 90s fastball like this pitcher, attack with that pitch. Get ahead. Get the offense on their toes. That opens up the off speed pitches later in the game. Now the one and one pitch. You know, from an offensive standpoint, they already knew they had their work cut out for him against a great pitcher. But if he's going to locate like that, this is going to be a tough day. Now a fastball as he just reared up and let that one fly, and the inning is over. One, two, three, go the Dodgers. Home half of the third coming up. No score. Oh. 
And now Patrick Wisdom. And he's looking to get it going. Off to a bit of a slow start this year. Number 42. He's ready. Here's the first pitch. Yep, that ball went out. Nope, and that one misses ball. badly. It's ball two. Too high. And it's three and oh. Well, he was definitely looking fastball here, and he got one. But that was good discipline to lay off and get himself into a 3-0 count. And good patience exercised as he works out the walk to lead off the home half of the third. Well, that is definitely not the way to start that an inning. One thing to give up a walk, but to do it on four Louis. pitches is pretty alarming. He looks a little thrown off right now. Next up is Luis Camposano, and he's definitely off to a fast start in the early part of the season. First pitch on its way. And there's a base hit on the line. At the plate, Blake Snell. Wisdom on second, Camposano on at first with nobody out. Showing bunt, but he winds up taking ball one. Great decision there to pull back. Step number one in getting a sacrifice bunt down, make sure you bunt a pitch that you can handle. Got it back in time there, and it's two and one. A time to start making some quality pitches. He finds himself in a tough spot behind an account with guys on base. Now the 2-1. And now a bunt attempt here as he gets this one down. To second for one. But they won't get two as he beats the relay to first. And that'll bring up Fernando Tatis Jr. And their runners at the corners now. Now the first pitch. He swings and hits it foul off to the right and out of play. Looking at his career totals, Tatis is carrying around a sparkling slugging percentage up over 500. Obviously a huge threat every time he grabs a bat. Ready with the 0-1. Big pitch coming up right here. He'd love for a ground ball or a strikeout. Bottom of inning number three, nothing, nothing, our score. And he misses there, one and two. In the dirt and block behind the plate. The tag, and he is safe on a very close play at the bag. Two two he is swung on and missed strike three. I really liked it. He gave up nibbling out of the zone trying to get him to chase. That wasn't working, so he just reached back and fired a good old country hardball fastball right by him. No better feeling in the world when you're a pitcher than throwing a fastball right by a guy. At the plate now, JP Crawford, as he will take a fastball in there at the knees for strike one. Struck out in his first at bat. Mm -hmm. 
There's the knuckle curve laid off one and one. Second and third two away. A ball and two strikes now. You know this isn't a ballpark that yields a lot of runs so when you've got a chance like this to put some early runs on the board it becomes really important to do so. The set and the one two and he's down on strikes so they get two men into scoring position but that's as far as they'll get as the side is retired back to back strikeouts keep them out of danger three innings in the books no score on MLB Network. set for the start of the fourth and that'll bring up the speedy outfielder Malik Smith. I know we're not seeing a lot of offense in this one but there's still some game left. I'm looking to see these guys both offenses make some notable adjustments at the dish and try and scratch a few runs across. Well if you love pitching and defense this has been a game for you. Are you happy with that Dan. Oh you have to love you know Matt we have so many of these games that are 12 to 10 and 9 to 8 it's nice to see a low scoring pitchers duel for once. I think a big reason why he's been so effective in this one that he's been just about getting ahead of every hitter seems like every one of them are 0 2 1 and 2 and it's just about every at bat and when that's the case your chances of getting a good pitch to hit are way worse. A ball and two strikes. Love the high heater right there to raise the hitter's sights. Let's see if he buries something in the dirt right here. Swing and a flare hit toward right. And that's in there. Base hit. Well, that's a nice base hit right there. Way to break up the rhythm. That was almost eight in a row. This guy was starting to get his bearings about him on the mound. Had to break it up. Now a throw over to first and the runner back safely. And again a throw keeping particularly close tabs on him. Dansby Swanson lining up to hit as he'll take a look at ball one. He was cut down at second attempting to stretch a base hit his first time through. In the dirt and now let's see. And that's going to move that runner into scoring position now. And a good comeback fastball there. It's two balls and a strike. He's going to have to set his sights a little lower right there. That pitch was able to get by him. His swing was just a little under that one. Three and one is the count to the Dodgers shortstop. He's set. Here's the three one. Swung on and missed that strike two. Hey there was great arm action on that 3 1 change up right here. He's got this guy thinking that's the beauty right now. We go to a full count. Do you sit change up or do you stay with the heater. Huge innings have begun with much less. I can tell you that first and second no out and the guy on the bump really needs a strikeout or a double play right here. Up next Mookie Betts. He went down looking in his last trip to the plate. Yeah in today's game certainly don't get completely reprimanded for too many strikeouts but no one likes to go down looking expect him to be a little bit more aggressive at the dish this A.B. This is where as a hitter you need to slow your thinking you know he's trying to get you a double play ball right here you have to control the strike zone. The 0 1 pitch popped him up. Prado is over and he puts it away for the first down. Next to bat will be Reese Hoskins. He's 0 for 1 thus far. Oh, 
Ready to deal. Here comes the first pitch. They'll try and entice him with a high fastball, but he wouldn't commit. It's ball one. Looked like he just tried to do too much with that fastball right there. He, he overthrew it a little bit. That's pretty much the case when you airmail a fastball like that. Smith at second. Swanson is over at first with one away. On that fastball is too much for him there. One and two. I mean, he's coming right after him, Matty. Three fastballs in a row. Way inside with that one. A pretty easy take there. He's set. Here's the 2 2. Ground ball left side. Oh, a diving effort as it's off his glove. But the recovery will come too late, and the bases are loaded now. Now that catcher will smoke. Standing in now, Will Smith. As he'll take a look at a slider that can't make it back to the corner, it's ball one. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. Grounded to third. One there. Relay to first in time, and just like that, this side is retired. Just what the doctor ordered. He gets the double play to get him out of the inning. Don't touch that remote. More on MLB Network right after this. And Bryce Harper will dig into the plate. Comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. Right. Harper. First pitch on its way. Nope. Ball one. Ball one, no fight. The 1 0 home. And it's belted high and deep into right center. Center fielder going back to the track. Gone! Solo home run off the bat of Bryce Harper. Home run number three here in the early going, and the Padres bust out in front one to nothing. Hey, listen, there's an old adage in baseball that solo home runs won't kill you. This is one of the top hitters in that lineup. So a home run, a solo home run right here, it's not the end of the world. Juan Soto to the plate now. As he'll pop this one foul off to the left and out of play. Looking to put the ball in play here. He went down on strikes in his first at bat. Into the windup. Here comes the 0 and 1. And here's a curveball in the dirt that time for a ball. 1 and 1. And he looks at one in there, one and two. Wow, I can't believe the hitter took that one. The pitcher absolutely got away with a hanger. And this runs inside, and that looked like it got him pretty good. Well, I bet the manager breathed a sigh of relief when he saw he wasn't hurt that badly. The last thing they can afford to lose is a guy like that for any length of time. Stepping in now, Trent Grisham, as the first pitch to him is off the plate for a ball, 1-0. and oh. One run, four hits. No errors in the ballgame for the Padres. Two balls and no strikes to the Padres center fielder. Looks like this guy's afraid to throw the ball in the strike zone. Gave up that home run earlier in the inning. Needs to get back to being aggressive. Ready with the 2-0 pitch. Taken but called a strike. Oh. 
Just a bit high with the fastball, but didn't get the call. He drilled the previous batter, and now he falls behind 3-1 to this guy. The last thing you can do, though, is throw a fastball middle of the plate right here. Nobody out, runner on first. Three and two. Three balls, two strikes. And he struck him out. It's always nice to keep a guy that has good wheels off base, and that's just what they did right there. Big strikeout, keep that guy off the base pass. Fredo. Into the box now, Nick Prado. As he swings and misses at a first pitch fastball, 0 and 1. One in, one out, and one on here in the inning. Comes set with the 0 and 1. Donnie oh, hammers it to deep right field. He lays out for it, but he can't pull it in. And they'll have runners at second and third following the one out double. Now that Boy that double was an absolute two. missile. Yeah Matt you can't fault the outfielder too much either. The line drive was hit right at him and I think it took a minute to gauge where it was going. So I think he misjudged it a bit. The end result the ball gets down and the hitter is standing at second base with a solid double. Into the box, Patrick Wisdom. As he takes a called strike on the black, it's 0-1. He drew a base on balls his first time up. Has a look, now the pitch. Behind 0-2 now. Soto, the runner at third. Prado at second with one away. Slider. Ooh, thought he had him, but it's one and two. That was a nasty sweeping slider right there. If he was able to just catch the corner a little bit, he would have picked up that backwards K. And he struck him out. Strikeout number eight now in the ball game for him. One of the toughest pitches to hit, now the that. straight changeup, right? The El Cambio. Hadn't Ruiz. seen it in that entire at bat. And what happens? Gets the string pulled on him right there. Had no chance to put that ball in play. In now, Luis Camposano, as he'll go after the first pitch to him and comes up empty, it's strike one. One for one with a single so far. Comes set, the 0-1. One and one. The problem for the batter now is he's gotten so inside conscious after those first two pitches anything on the outer half of the plate's going to look a foot outside. It's a two and two count to the Padres catcher. And he's got himself another one as he picks up strikeout number nine here and the side is retired. But the Padres draw first blood here on the solo home run. We're through four. It's one nothing San Diego. Welcome back. Heidi Watney standing by as we get set for the top of the fifth. Matt, during the break, I caught up with L.A.'s manager to discuss his thoughts on the Dodgers' offense so far. And flat out, he was very pleased with the quality of their at-bats. No, they have not scored yet, but they have been successful in running up the pitch count, something they feel will eventually pay dividends on the scoreboard as the starter gets tired and they are forced to go to the bullpen. For now, they're sticking to the plan. Okay, thank you, Heidi. All ready to go in the top of the fifth. And that brings in Edwin Rios. Rios. 
Now the first pitch. As he'll lay off a slider too low, ball one. Looks like double barreled action now in the San Diego bullpen as they get a lefty and a right hander up to throw. The 1 0 home. And it's fouled away. The 1 1. Got him. This guy is really locked in on the bump right now. He's just playing good old fashioned hardball right now. Just the rearing second, back and letting it go. And it in. seems like this lineup, Pure. they don't have an answer for anything he's bringing so far. And that'll bring up Keston Hura. As he will look at a first pitch fastball for ball one. Flew out in his only at bat so far. Sneaks a fastball by him at the letters. It's one and one. This pitcher's bringing it with some high velo. You better get that front foot down early and get ready, or he's going to throw it right by you. Two and one the count. And it's two balls and two strikes now. You know, from a hitter's perspective, you get pounded in, and then he throws a nasty changeup away. Is the mindset to tell yourself that he's going to go in and out all day long, or is he going to double up? That's the cat and mouse we're seeing right now. And that one got a piece of him. This is a perfect example of why the slider is such a great pitch and such a dangerous pitch, too. Sometimes it moves so much that you just lose control of it. This one runs way too far in, and the hitter is standing on first as a result. Striding in is Donovan Casey. He went down on strikes in his last at bat. From the stretch as he looks at a fastball that's in there for strike one especially after drilling the last guy up at the plate that's just a great job to get your mechanics back under you and establish yourself back in the strike zone. Fastball misses inside it's even at one. Two and one. And a change up here, but that's taken low in the dirt for a ball. Good job to work the count and put himself back in the driver's seat. Started off with one strike, and now he's got the count in his favor, three and one. And the three one. Looked like ball four there, but instead it's three and two now. I can't imagine he was sitting on fastball at his neck right there. He is going to have to lower his sights if he's going to have any chance. Here's a fly ball well hit. Back goes Grisham. He tracks it down and makes the play to record the second out. So now to the plate Shane Bieber struck out in his last trip to the plate. Yeah and kind of shocked he got blown away with a fastball. You could tell he was late on that one. And we'll see if he tries to cheat to something this A.B. From the stretch. Well behind that fastball. It's a swinging strike. Hey, if you're able to blow a first pitch fastball by a guy, got to believe that pitch is coming again right here. Behind 0-2 now. Nothing in two count and the pitch. And he struck him out his seventh of the ball game, and that ends the inning. Dodgers leave one. They trail this one one to nothing.
Aaron Hicks will grab a bat and hit for the pitcher here. Infield shifted well to the right. Here's the first pitch as he'll look at a fastball too high for ball one. Waved at and missed as he took something off there. One and one. There's a pitch we haven't seen in a while. It's going to be tough on the hitters if they have to incorporate that into their mindset. Ball taken there. Two and one now. Into the windup and the pitch. Here's a big swing and a miss on the fastball. Two and two. And he struck him out. The tenth victim set down on strikes thus far. That's 10 strikeouts for him now, and I'll tell you, he can rack up quite a few more before he's done. Still a lot of game left in this one. At the plate, Fernando Tatis Jr. As the first pitch misses to him, it's ball one. He's working on a one for two game so far. The 1 0 is looked at for ball number two. Hey, not a good spot to be down 2 0. This guy has some serious pop at the plate. I'm expecting a big hack here. Too tight with that one. 3 and 0. I wouldn't be surprised if he had the green light here. Matter of fact, I know he's got the green light here. He's looking for something set or cut, and he's looking to do damage. And he lost him here on four pitches. So a speed merchant is aboard now with one away. And with the bases empty and three balls, I think they were probably just saying, hey, we're not going to compound our mistakes here. Better issue a free pass and give him something to drive. Next, it'll be J.P. Crawford. 0 for 2 on his line thus far. Now the first pitch and a pitch out nothing doing though and that's ball one. He's running strike taken the throw. He's not going to get him as he swipes second. Well when a stolen base is that close it's interesting to check it out on show track and as the numbers come in you'll want to focus on the top speed really good and it paid off there. Flares this one over toward first. And this will get taken in at first for the second out of the inning. Here's Bryce Harper now. Well, Matty, we know he's got the timing on the fastball locked in. That's what he got a hold of on that home run in the previous at bat. You do not come off the heater. Have to be leery of the off speed. But stay on the fastball. He's got to throw it again. Ball one to start the at bat. Swing and a miss out in front of a changeup. Two balls and a strike now as that misses to the San Diego right fielder. Three and one now as that misses down and in. Not a good spot to be in right now. Pitcher's falling behind in the count with a guy up that hits really well with runners in scoring position. The three and one pitch. Turned on that one and crushed it. Just pulled it a little foul. 
Tatis stands at second with two gone. And yet another strikeout here. His 11th of the ball game, and this one ends the inning. One left for San Diego, but they lead it one to nothing. Taylor Williams takes over to start the sixth inning on the mound. So here's Malik Smith, one for two on his line so far in the game. Malik. First pitch of the AB now. Try to bunt for a base hit here as he gets this one down. But this is foul for the first strike. Into the windup, here comes the 0 and 1. And 1 and 1 as this one's in on the hands. Slider, and that's hit on the ground towards second. Throw to first gets him, so the leadoff man's retired here to begin the sixth. Digging in next, Dansby Swanson. It was a walk in his last trip. Ready to deal. Here comes the first pitch. Watches a fastball right there for strike one. Action now in the Padre bullpen as it looks like a right-hander is getting loose out there. No runs, three hits. No errors for the Dodgers thus far. And this is high, a ball and a strike. One ball, one strike. Sent on the ground out to second. And there's out number two. And now in the box, Mookie Betts, 0 for 2 for him to this point. First pitch coming, here it is. Whoa, that's the 1 0. A swing and a miss, that's the first strike. Hey, that was a nasty pitch right there. Ton of rotation on that ball. You could almost see the red dot from up here. Nasty depth. Front door with the slider eclipsed the zone for a called strike. Bases are empty here with two men out. Frozen on strike three for the final out of the inning. Dodgers down in order. It remains one nothing. Here now is Juan Soto. He's batting cleanup in this one, but will get us started here in the inning as they look to wake up the bats. Yeah, not much to get excited about with just a single notch on the scoreboard, but you have to give credit to where it's deserved. The pitching on the other side has been really impressive. Ready to deal. Here comes the first pitch. This guy's been throwing the ball great so far, but he's going to be tested here. Four, five, and six coming up this part of the lineup. And a strike to even the count. One and one. Aye. Fastball called strike. One and two. Hold hard, but it's foul down the first base side. He'll try again. One, two. Still a ball and two strikes. Here's another one two. High in the air down the right field line. Betts is over near the stands as he makes the catch for the first down. Up so with one away Padres. now let's quickly give you a no look at the standings field. in the National League West Thanks. entering play today as you see Russia. where these two teams sit in relation to one another. So next to bat will be Print Grisham. 
first pitch on the way. Now that's popped up. Swanson has a play. And he brings it in for the second out of the inning. Now that now to the plate, Nick Prado. It was a two bagger for him in his last at bat. Well, he got a good pitch to hit last time up. Looked for it up in the zone and didn't miss it. Those are the pitches you only get maybe once an AB, maybe once a game, maybe once a week. So he certainly capitalized on it last time. Not surprised he's laid on a heater right there. Just saw an off speed pitch. Wanted to stay back a little bit too long. Started to go around there. Looked like he held up in time. No. Strike two, says the third base umpire. Liner in there for a base hit. Oh, and the throw is over his head. Boy, D. Rowe, the pitch count keeps climbing and climbing and climbing. And this is another example of they're really making this guy work in this one. Yeah, that's the grind right here. You put your hard hat on, you try and find a way to get into that bullpen. Throw over to first. And a dive, but he's back in there. At the plate now, Patrick Wisdom. And they pitch out here, but nothing's going on. Throw over to the bag, and the runner back. And another throw over. And he'll dive back in. The 1 0 home is looked at for the first strike. I got a ball, one strike. Turn to the slider here, and it just misses. Two and one now. Prado, the runner at first with two gone. Runner, yes, Runner's yes. going. Strike called. Now the throw down. The throw is low, and he can't make the pick. Well, they threw over there multiple times thinking he was going to try to swipe that bag. So they were onto him, but he just waited it out and took off when he had the chance. Nice job of base running there. Looking to keep this a one run game, the pitch. And he's got another one here. 12 punch outs now in the ball game, and that'll end the inning. Padres leave one. They lead it one to nothing. Now we're going to have a conference at the home plate area, so it would appear that we'll see a double switch here. Here's Johnson. will come on now, and he'll slide into the seven spot in the lineup following the double switch. Isaiah Kiner Falefa will also come on now as he'll move into the pitcher's number nine hold in the order here on that double switch. First offering. You know, because this is just a one run game. This doesn't strike me as a situation where he's going to be working around a guy. I think he's going to challenge him right here. Just off the outside that time, laid off for a ball. Don't expect this pitcher to throw something over the heart of the plate. He's going to have to stay on the corners right here. Huge spot in this game. Do not miss over the heart and get beat. Outside, 3-0 now. 
down by a run your guy needs to get on any way he can his mentality has to be to shrink this strike zone to like the size of a soup can no reason to swing at a pitcher's pitch taking all the way and it's three and one now you maybe get two pitches a game where all the guesswork goes out the window this is certainly that situation the three one pitch full count now. Now the three and two pitch and he lays off ball four so now the potential tying run here is aboard late in the game man that's a tough one to swallow you're hanging on to a slim lead and the last thing you want to do is give up a leadoff walk seems like those are the ones that always come back to haunt you so we'll see if that's the case here digging in here for a pivotal at bat Will Smith and he represents the potential go ahead run. Here's the first pitch to him. A great job pounding his own strike one. When you got a great hitter in the box, you gotta get ahead. Count leverage is a must. The 0 1 on its way. He's able to ride this one high and deep toward right center. And that'll get down out there for extra bases. And the throw in gets away from him. Throw comes in quickly, halting that tying run at third. Now batting. Finally, a little something base. for them to get excited about. Yeah, a rally can begin with a single swing of the bat, and this might be their chance right here. They've struggled to produce a lot of runs, but there he is at second base. A shot to the outfield scores him. Then who knows what kind of roll they can get on. Got to take it one good at bat at a time. Digging in will be Edwin Rios as he'll try to hold back on the swing but he went around for the first strike. No hits to this point. Owen oh one here it comes lifted down the line in left but this will wind up being a foul ball. Oh and two here it is and the curveball bounces here but a good job behind the plate to keep it at arm's length. The one two. And a swing and a miss a big strike out here as it'll remain second and third but with one away now good job of making him chase a pitch for the strike out there yeah Matt that's the advantage of getting ahead in the count you can really force hitters to expand their zone and protect and when they're in that mode getting them to go after a pitch they can't do much with becomes a lot easier. And it looks as though the decision makers in the dugout will give him a free pass to first so the bases are loaded here on the intentional walk and the force play is now in order. Next to hit Donovan Casey trying to bring in the tying run from third here. First pitch of the A.B. on its way. No balls and a strike to count. Obviously a huge situation in the game here. But at the plate he's got to keep it simple. He can't try to do too much just because the bases are juiced. At the very least just find a way to get that tying run home from third. Pulled the fastball down a little too much there. That's ball one. Now the Dodgers get a right hander up and throwing in their bullpen. little bit outside two and one everyone in the ballpark knows what the pitchers intentions are in this situation great job at the plate to lay off a tough pitch in a good spot oh, 
Now the 2 1 is strike two swinging. Hey, that's the kind of swing you'd like to see a guy take with the bases loaded. He's going for the downs. The 2 2 is a wave and a miss. He struck him out. Boy, there's nothing like seeing a good power pitcher that has a good fastball. And what does he do? He just throws this good fastball right by, brings the express. No chance to put that ball in play. Tim Hill answers the call to pitch here in a big spot. He inherits a bases loaded jam, but needs just one out to get out of it. Brandon Nimmo will come on to pinch hit here in a big spot. Brandon Trying to hold the lead. Here's the delivery. He'll swing and lift a ball foul off to the left and out of play. He's ready for his first at bat of this early season contest. This is lined into left field, and he delivers a big base hit. One run scores. The tag, and they get him at the plate as one run scores, but not the second. It's a run on two hits here for L.A. It is stretch time here at Petco Park, all tied at one and one. And we're back for the bottom of the seventh as we check in with Heidi Watney. Matt, I talked with San Diego's manager during the inning break about the Padres' offensive production to this point. And he really emphasized that they're not doing a very good job capitalizing on run scoring opportunities. They've had their opportunities with runners in scoring position, but still have zero hits to show for it in those situations. He said repeatedly not coming through with the big hit can wear on you as a team, but in this sport, you have to dwell on the positives. He's confident they'll find a way to break through sooner or later. All right, Heidi, thank you. Emilio Pagan gets the call from the pen to take the ball for the home seventh. For the Padres, the catcher. Luis. To the plate now, Luis Camposano. As he'll take a look at a high strike that time, it's nothing in one. A hit in two tries for him so far. Oh, this is hit high and deep out to left. But that'll stay in the park as it's off the wall. The relay, but it won't be in time, and it's a leadoff double. Wow, he was willing that thing to get out of here. Would have given them the lead right here late in the game, but it ends up hitting off the wall, and he heads into second with an extra base hit. We'll see if the next man up can come through in the clutch here. So now up steps Isaiah Kiner Falefa. As he'll look at a breaking ball that misses for ball one. He's newly entered into the ball game, so this will be his first trip to the plate here in inning number seven. Now the 1 0. Lofted in the air out toward right center. Betts has a read on it. One out. And the runner, not tagging, will retreat to second base. Now that. So the batting order turns over now and set to go Fernando Tatis Jr. It was a walk in his last trip. First pitch on its way. Some activity out in the bullpen now as a couple of left handers begin to stir. Go ahead runs in scoring position here with one away. 1 0 pitch is a curveball. That looked good from here, but it's 2 0. Swing and a miss on a good breaking ball. Two balls and a strike. 
Hey, boys, you talking about getting your A swing off right here? That's what it looks like. A guy with massive power letting it eat. Chopped weakly to the left. Swing and a miss, and they'll dodge a major bullet that time. Two away. That was a big strikeout there, guys. The best pitchers have the ability the to strike baseman. guys out when they JP. really need to. And that second Walker. out was really important at this point of the game. Could be something we look back on later when the game's over. Next to the plate for the Padres, J.P. Crawford. Not much in the way of productivity from him so far, but he's got a chance to come through here in a crucial spot. Yeah, he, it's time now that he has to put the rest of those bats behind it because none of that matters if he can clutch up when it really counts. He's ready. Here's the first pitch. And a breaking ball in the dirt that time for a ball. A ball and a strike. Go ahead runs in scoring position here with two down. One one is a cutter that misses two and one. Called strike two. He must know something we don't know. That was a center cut heater with count leverage in a big spot. I, I don't understand why he's taking it. Okay. And this pitch is taken high and away to fill the count. It's three and two. Every base runner in a close game like this really matters. So you can't afford to be giving out free passes this late. Good job to spoil that one away, and he stays alive. Lifted down the line and left. But this is just going to wind up being a foul ball. Swing and a miss got him reaching. The throw to first is in time and the inning is over. One left for San Diego. Score remains deadlocked at one. Robert Stevenson will come on and make his fourth appearance in this campaign. Ready to begin the eighth, and that'll bring up the speedy outfielder Malik Smith. Here's the first pitch. Runs up and gets this one down. Uh, this gets foul. It's 0 and 1. Now here's the pitch. He'll try to bunt his way on as he gets this one down. But this will wind up a foul ball, strike two. Hard hit ball to second. Crawford has it. Throw on to first in time, so the leadoff man is set down to open up inning number eight. Next to stand in is Dansby Swanson. He bounced out last time up. First pitch of the A.B. now. Called a strike on the outer half. 0-1. He'll be fine coming out of the bullpen in this one if he can keep the ball around the knees like that. The 0-1 on its way. And he reaches out for one and may have chased it as this is skied into the air to straightaway center. In there, a base hit. Now batting the right fielder. Mookie. Next to hit is Mookie Betts. 0 for 3 with a couple of strikeouts for him to this point in the ballgame. He comes set. Here's the nothing and nothing pitch. One -oh. Good spot to be in right now as a hitter. Count your favor 1 0. Good time to get a fastball and turn it loose. 
from the stretch. In the dirt here. And the runner will stay put, but the count moves to 2-0. and oh. As a look, now the pitch. Now a pitch swung on and missed. It's 2-1. and one. He struggled quite a bit at the plate in this one, so until he shows he can put a good swing on the ball, I don't think they're going to give him anything straight that he can handle. Hitters count now. Here's the 2-1. and one. Leaps high as he makes the catch. Well done. It's really important to be a second baseman and have some athletic ability. And how about this right here? He goes up high to snag this line drive that was definitely headed to the outfield for a base hit. Into the box now, Reese Hoskins. As the first pitch to him runs a bit inside for ball one. Ready with the 1 0. And that's inside, looked like the slider, and it's 2 0. You know, something to keep in mind they're really burning through that bullpen, and this is only the first game of the series. Definitely could have an impact on the rest of the series, and maybe even the whole week ahead. The set and the 2 0. If I'm managing this hitter right here, he doesn't even have to look down at the third base coach. You know he's got the green light, he's one of the best hitters in your lineup. Three and one. Two out with the possible go ahead run at first. In the dirt. And it's not in time as he's in well ahead of the throw. And a very big mistake as that'll move the possible go ahead run into scoring position. Well, this is one of those good news, bad news situations. The good news is you fooled the hitter and he swings through the pitch. The bad news is the pitch wasn't even in the same zip code as the strike zone, and it goes as a wild pitch. Count remains full. Now a fastball swung on and missed and that is out number three. Clearly fired up to work out of that jam. Don't go anywhere. More Tuesday night baseball after this. James Pazos is on to pitch out of the bullpen in the bottom half of the eighth. Bottom of inning number eight set to go and that'll bring in a dangerous hitter indeed in the form of Bryce Harper. Harper. First pitch on the way. That's a ball. Count one and oh. Swing and a miss on the sinker, a ball and a strike. Ball two with a sinker that runs off the inside. Two one, here it is. This is on the ground over to first. Oh, look at the sliding stop. Got him. And what a vital play there, preventing the leadoff man from getting aboard. No left fielder. So one man gone for the Friars in their Soto. half of the eighth. And digging into bat next, the ever dangerous Juan Soto. Now here it comes. A changeup floats outside here for ball one. 
Action in the bullpen now as a right hander begins to throw out there. One out, nobody on. Looked like a slider, perhaps, but it missed badly, and it's 2-0. and oh. It's a lot easier to hit when you're putting yourself in good hitter's counts. This guy's done a great job not swinging at pitcher's pitches, and when he's getting the ball in the zone, he's getting the barrel to it. He's been hot lately. The 2-0 -oh on the way. He pops him up toward the left side of the infield, and this is taken in for the second out. Now Digging in now for San Diego, Trent Grisham. He was retired after popping out in his last at bat. Ready to deal. Here comes the first pitch. Hey, a changeup can be a pretty good pitch on the first pitch. Kind of slow down a good fastball hitter. And that misses one and one. One and one, the pitch. Lifted down the line and left. And this will wind up a foul ball. Ready with the one two. And he fouls this one off. The one two offering looked like a slider that time but it's two and two. These are the great matchups that happen throughout the course of a game. I don't think as a pitcher you can give in right here. He's a great hitter at the plate. He knows it. You know it. Keep executing. Maybe get him to roll something over. The 2 2 pitch. And this is swung on and grounded out to Swanson at short. Throw in the dirt, but a good scoop at first saves an error as the side is retired. Three up, three down for San Diego. Score remains tied one to one. All set to start the ninth in this one, and that brings up Will Smith. First pitch on its way. Didn't get the call there, but you can't let that bother. You just have to say, uh, so what? And make another good pitch. Runs outside, so it goes to 2 0 now. Not even close with the 1 0. He needs to get back in the zone, but be careful. Work the quadrants. The 2 0 on the way he is swung on and missed. Strike one. I mean he had to I'm going to give him benefit of the doubt and say he was sitting something off speed because to be late on a fastball in the count like that is just unforgivable three and one to him now here's the pitch and he lays off ball four now the potential go ahead run is on base here. Man, when the game is tied, the last thing you can afford to do is walk the leadoff hitter. Got to focus on getting that ground ball now. And now here is Edwin Rios. Go ahead run at first. Nobody out. Here's the first pitch. The 1 0. Go ahead, runs aboard here at first with nobody out. 
No contact there, and it's one and two. And a good pitch, but it misses here, and that moves the count back to even on the Dodger third baseman. Two and two. Got him! And he goes down on strikes for the third time. Well, that's just a quality pitch right there. The location was excellent because if it's put in play, there's a good chance it's on the ground for a double play. And hey, a strikeout always works too. Standing in now, Keston Hiura, as he'll watch a slider that runs out of the strike zone away for ball one. There's one away, the runner at first represents the potential go ahead score. Double play is in order, however. The 1 0. 1 and 1 the count now. The one and one pitch. Oh, now here's a line drive, and this is going to get down for extra bases. And they'll have runners at second and third following the one-out double. The good news for pitchers in this park is that it doesn't give up many home runs. A lot of room in the outfield. Sometimes that's the bad news as well, though, because there's a lot of space for hits to get down and to go for extra bases just like that. So now to the plate, Donovan Casey. As he'll take one on the inside corner at the knees, it's strike one. Boy, this is a dicey situation right here, D, where what the runner in scoring position, the sack fly, brings that run in. This is where you're going to really have to try to keep the ball on the ground as a pitcher. What do you want to do as a hitter, D, Row? Yeah, right here, you are looking for anything above the belt. You see it up, you have to let it go. This is where you have to check your ego at the door. Something has to be elevated and put into the outfield. Give your team a chance to score a run. Now the 0-2 pitch. Tries the slider to ring him up, but he lays off one and two. And here's one that barely misses off the inside corner, two and two. Smith on third. Hiura is over at second with one down in the inning. And a swing and a miss. He struck him out. And a big out there as the go-ahead run stays at third with two gone now. It's been a really rough day for this lineup. There's really no other way to say it. Not a lot of good scoring opportunities. And when they've had them, like right now, it's just been an uphill battle for them to make anything positive happen. Gavin Lux will be called upon here to hit with the game on the line. Here's the first pitch. This will take a look at a slider here that finds the zone for strike one. And a fastball way off target here, and it's even at one. Runners at second and third with two gone. And a slider's in the dirt as he lays off it for a ball. All even now, two and two. Here's the two and two. Well, no doubt in my mind, this has been the at bat of the night so far. Now the three and two pitch. 
Yanked hard, but foul to the right. I think for every player, for every former player, that swing right there is the reason we need to extend the netting. But we'll have to press pause as that strike three to retire the side. A big time strikeout and some raw emotion as he gets out of the jam. We're back at Petco Park in just a moment. Tony Gonsolin enters to do the pitching and best case scenario for him is to push this one into extra innings. Ready to go for the last half of the go. inning Four and next to bat will be the first baseman the first Nick baseman. Prado. And the pitch. Now action in the bullpen as their closer starts to get loose out there. The wind up and the 0 1. Hard hit towards center. Smith is there and that won't help the cause. It's a quick out here to start the home ninth. Good contact to start out the no inning. Pitcher. Thought he might be on base with some sort of a hit but it hung up there too long. Just unlucky that time. Vidal Brujan comes on with one gone here as he looks at a called strike one. Into the windup, here comes the 0 and 1. Curveball taken a little high. One ball, one strike. Started to go around there. Looked like he held up in time. No, strike two, says the third base umpire. Here comes the 1 2. He's certainly pushing the throttle and pulling it with those four pitches. Statistics class tells me I'm sitting fast. And this will miss down low in the dirt, so he's working full now at three and two. You see a right-handed batter waiting next, but he could very well be pulled back as the situation dictates. Something has to give. Here's the payoff pitch. Bases are empty, one man out. And he lays off ball four. So now the potential winning run is aboard at first. Now that the catcher. Next, it'll be Luis Camposano. He can make these fans go nuts and secure the win if he can place a ball deep enough into the gap. Here's the first pitch. And he takes a cold strike. 0 and 1. Hey, that's a quality take right there. He knows the pitcher's trying to get him to hit a ground ball and roll two. And that's inside off the plate with the fastball. It's 1 and 1. Fouled off. And a swing and a miss as they got him with the slider there, two away. Really good late bite on that slider right there. The best ones have that now late that action that just baseman. darts at the last minute. Isaiah. They're so tough to get the bat on, Slider's and when you've got that time. good slider going, it's a great strikeout pitch. Into the box, Isaiah Kiner Falefa. As he'll take a look at a strike right down the middle, it's 0 1. The 0 1. Nope. Possible winning run stands at first with two out here. And he comes back with a fastball, one and two now. Yeah. 
did a good job to shorten up and protect the plate and he'll have another shot at it here. Lays off two and two now. Two two pitches fouled away. Again, another foul ball. Possible winning run stands at first with two out here. Just keeping him close. Ready with another two strike offering. This is in the air out to straightaway center. Smith gets under it and makes the catch. Mitch Navarro takes the mound as he'll be the first man to pitch here in extra innings. New inning set to get underway, and that'll bring forth the veteran outfielder, Malik Smith. Here's the first pitch. Sent out to straightaway center field. Grisham is under it to make the catch for out number one. Big at bat now, and here is Dansby Swanson. And a chance they walk him here to set up a double play that would keep the game tied. Here's the first pitch. In there, 0 and 1. Now action in the bullpen as their closer starts to get loose out there. Go ahead runs in scoring position here with one away. Swing and a miss on the slider and he's quickly behind nothing in two. So back to back sliders for strikes. Does he come back with yet another. Hey that's back to back really good sliders. I wouldn't be surprised if he threw another one right here. Looks like he's got that slide ball in his back pocket right now. And did he hold up in time. A look down and no he went around at strike three. Here's Mookie Betts. His day at the plate hasn't amounted to much 0 for 4 but this is a great opportunity to make amends. Well, when your team really needs you like they need it right here, you have to be able to put your personal struggles out of your mind. Right now is all that matters. Here's the first pitch. Fastball just misses. That's ball one. One and oh, here it is. A swing and a ground ball to third. Over the first, and that retires the side. So it's no runs on no hits, no errors, and one man left on base. So one will win it here as we go to the bottom of inning number 10, all tied at one and one. Now to the plate here is Fernando Tatis Jr. And he's got a chance to bring in the winning run. The question is whether they'll even pitch to him. Here's the first pitch. Fouled away. This has to be a productive at bat right here. I know you want to drive the run in and get the RBI. But you have to find a way bare minimum to move this runner over to third. Swinging strike, and now it's 0 and 2. Some action in the Dodger bullpen now, as it appears they have both a lefty and a right hander up and throwing. Now the 0 2 pitch. Fouled away. Yeah. 
Ready with another two strike offering. Got him. And that's the third time we've written a K next to his name in this one. It's been a rough game for him at the plate. Couldn't get the bat off his shoulder right there. And he struck out twice before that one. So he's going to have a lot to think about when he leaves the ballpark tonight. At the plate now, J.P. Crawford. As he pops the first pitch foul behind the plate. Struggling so far in this one and looking to erase his 0 for 4 ball game right here. <laughs> 0 and 2, the count to Crawford. Hey, make no mistake about it, this lineup's going to have to get going and get a little bit more aggressive. This guy's pounding the zone. Good job of holding up on the low ball there, and it's one and two. Stole cold take right there. That fastball very well could have sent him packing back to the bench. Still one and two as he fouls it away. Possible game winners at second base here with one away. And he fouls this one off. Ready with another two strike offering. And that one misses badly. It's ball two. One thing to take note of is how these last two batters have really driven up his pitch count. He's had to use 14 pitches already on them and he's not even through this guy yet. 14 is near the top end of what you want to throw in a complete inning. Fouled off. Possible game winners at second base here with one away. Spin and a throw back to second, and he'll dive back in safely. There's a curveball, but it misses well out of the zone. Hey, this has been an epic at bat right here. I don't blame the pitcher for a little nibbling right there. Maybe get a swing and a miss. He didn't bite on that one, so now we go full count. Now the three and two pitch. Bounce to first. And he'll take this one to the bag for the out, but meanwhile, the runner will move up 90 feet to third base. Yeah, Big spot here, and it'll be Bryce Harper, though they might pitch around him here with a couple of bases empty. Here's the first pitch. One and oh, here it is. Hey, love the confidence in that pitch right there, going right after one of the better hitters on this team, not afraid to execute. Big spot here, possible winning run at third, two down. Grounded up the first baseline, but a foul ball. One and two the count now. And he strikes him out to retire the side, so we'll play at least one more. Padres leave one, still tied one apiece.
11th inning set to get underway and set to go is the veteran first baseman Reese Hoskins. Here's the first pitch and a strike called at the letters looked high to me but it's nothing in one. From the stretch. Ball. One and two now. One ball, two strikes. Able to protect the plate with two strikes, and he'll see another one. Ready with another two strike offering. Now a fastball but that's easy to lay off and it's back to even at two and two. I love these grinder at bats right here. Kind of a la Wade Boggs in the early 80s where he would just foul off strikes that he didn't want to hit and wait for that pitch he was certainly sitting on and drive it off the monster. He struck him out the third time he's fanned in the game. Now it'll be Will Smith and a chance they walk him here to set up a double play that would keep the game tied. Here's the first pitch. Too low, 1 0. Go ahead runs in scoring position here with one away. That evens it up, 1 and 1. The 1 and 1 pitch. Strike two, swinging just out in front of the slider. Yeah guys he's got so much respect for this guy's fastball you could tell he was out in front on that slider. I think he goes to the well one more time with that pitch. Two and two to the Dodgers catcher. Here's the two two pitch. And that misses there so he runs the count full now. Now the three and two pitch and that misses ball four so with one out that'll at least set up the double play possibility here that could get them out of the inning and with first base open the last thing he wanted to do was give him something to hit in the heart of the zone so no harm done force out anywhere now next for the Dodgers Edwin Rios he was sat down on strikes in his last at bat. Here's the first pitch. And he lays off there 1-0. Oh. Ooh, he's really in trouble, and it's just getting worse and worse and worse. This guy needs to find the strike zone in the worst way. And he swings here and sends one in the air deep down the right field line. Harper is back to the track as he takes it for route number two. Big spot here. First and second, two men gone. And in at the plate steps Keston Huron. Yeah. Here's the first pitch. Ball one. And he watches a called strike as this one bears in on him. One and one. And there's ball two now. He's got a couple of pitches to deal with right here, but he's starting to lose command of his pitches. It might be time to take a step back and try to refocus on making some good pitches. Two and two. Betts over at second. Smith at first, two out in the inning. 
Good swing on a tough pitch, and he'll stick around to see another one. You can really tell they're trying to keep the ball in on this big slugger right here. Is that an effort to keep him from getting extended, do you think? Yeah, I think that's the idea, Matt. But he might spin to win if he starts looking for it in there. Fouled away. Two and two. Here it is. For the guy on the mound, this is one of those innings where nothing comes easy. He's thrown a bunch of pitches, and this A.B. hasn't been any different. Definitely laboring at the moment. And he strikes him out here for route number three, so after a scoreless top half, they'll have a chance to win it here in the bottom half. Dodgers strand a couple. Score remains deadlocked at one. Victor Gonzalez takes over now to start the home 11th and he's looking to get this one to the visiting 12. Chance to walk it off and now here is Juan Soto the winning run stands at second base. Here's the first pitch. Eight. Yanked the slider across that time, laid off for a ball. Going to need to make a little bit of an adjustment with a slider release and at least tempt a hitter that it's going to be a strike. The one and one pitch. I got two on the count. Now a swing and a drive to center field. Back is the center fielder. Did he get enough of it? He did. Ball game over. Two run shot to straightaway center. And none bigger than that one as this ball game is over. Hey, when you get into extra innings, you're always looking for that one guy to step up and be that hero. And this guy was the hero tonight. What does he do? Steps up with a walk-off home run to end this thing in extras. Tonight's ball game comes to a close three to one the final Mitch Navarro earns his third win of the year in relief. So that's a wrap for us here tonight for my partners in the booth Mark DeRosa and Dan Plezak and Heidi Watney on the field. This is Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB Network. Have a good night everybody. The final line score for our ball game tonight for the victorious San Diego Padres. Three runs on.